The story begins showing the Korean peninsula which was hit by a meteorite disaster 40 years ago. And now, Korea has turned into a country which looks like a desert. Set in 2071. After the incident, only about 1% of the population has survived and a strict social class now exists. Not only that, because of the accident, foodstuffs are very scarce. Even oxygen is running low, so the people have to wear gas masks to avoid toxic air pollution. The citizens are identified by QR code, but those who are not getting the code will be considered as a refugee without an identity. At that time, citizens relied heavily on parcel delivery service for their needs. Delivery drivers, known as knights, deliver the packages and also protect them from thieves. Actually, the knight's journey is not easy. While delivering goods, they have to fight refugees without identity who rob oxygen and food. However, there was a legendary knight who is familiarly known as Knight 58. He is considered as the strongest knight and also highly skilled in physical combat. Being a delivery man is the dream of every person, because then, refugees can get a QR code. And that's their only hope. Meanwhile, at one of the shelters in Gangnam, there's a young man named Yoon Seowol. He is a refugee without code who wants to become a knight. There, he continues to practice physical combat to be elected as a knight. In another place, Knight 58 was delivering oxygen to a customer's house. The owner of the house will almost die if Knight 58 doesn't come on time to give him the oxygen. Shortly, Knight 58 got a message that one of the delivery men was robbed by the refugees. Knowing that, he immediately went to the crime scene. After arriving at that place, 58 immediately beat them one by one. Even so, he did not kill the thieves and set them free. And also, he reminded the refugees never to steal again. On the other hand, Yoon Seowol was in the general district. At that time, he saw a kid who was caught by the guards, even though the householder allowed the kid to stay. It turned out that Yoon Seowol was also an intruder in the general district. He lived with Jung Ah and a soldier named Major Jung. Then Yoon Seowol was beaten by Major Jung because he often ran away from the general district. He was then punished not to leave the house for two weeks as a result of his actions. Major Jung, who accommodates Yoon Seowol at her house, is now even more confused to think of a way for Yoon Seowol to get a QR code immediately. Elsewhere, Knight 58 got an unknown message which asked him to meet at Gate 8 at 5 p.m. Meanwhile, we see a man named Ri Siuk, who is the son of the owner of the Chia Myung Group. Chia Myung Group is a company that cooperates with the government to build all shelters, as well as the only company that supplies oxygen to refugees. With his wealth and position, it's clear that Ri Siak lives in a special district, a magnificent district filled with green plants. There, the president is discussing district relocation with Ri Siak's father. But here, we can see that Ri Siak is not happy with his father's attitude, which always obeys the president's wishes. While on the other hand, Yoon Seowol ignored Major Jung's words. Instead, he went outside the district with three of his friends to rob a distribution car. It turns out that the car that they were going to rob was driven by Knight 58. After Yoon So Wool and his friends managed to get on top of the truck, Knight 58 realized it and immediately turned the truck left and right. As a result, they fell after Knight 58 activated the electric voltage. Yoon So Wool, who managed to survive, then got into the car. Yoon So Wool was not an expert in martial arts, but he instead challenged Knight 58 to a duel. But it didn't take long for the legend to easily knock down Yoon Seo Wool. Long story short, Knight 58 finally arrived at Gate 8. Then he saw the Air Corps that was heading to District A. At the same time, Major Jung was also there, and she felt that something was strange because the officers there covered up the incident that had occurred in the District A. That night, Major Jung's journey disturbed because their way was blocked by a car. Upon inspection, it turned out that the car belonged to Knight 58. It seems that the person who sent a message to Knight 58 was Major Jung, but they didn't seem to know each other, so no one suspected. It seems like they were currently investigating the movements of the Chia Myung group. Meanwhile, Yoon Seo Wol finally returned home. Jung Ah was very angry because Seo Wol often ran away, so she trapped him into the room and immediately locked him up. On the other side, Knight 58 was seen in the refugee district. There, he distributed fresh oxygen to refugees who needed it. Not only Knight 58, but several delivery men also distributed fresh oxygen and food to refugees. After that, Knight 58 met a refugee who he called as his older brother. They then discussed the construction of a new district that was being planned by the Chia Myung group. The next day, Knight 58 sent oxygen to the general district, to be precise at Jung Ah's house. Jung Ah 
who really idolized Knight 58 immediately asked for a selfie with him. So Wol, who heard a commotion, immediately hid after knowing that it was Knight 58. Shortly after Knight 58 left, some people suddenly broke into Jung Ah's house and immediately attacked her. They want to rob the fresh oxygen and foodstuffs. So Wol, who saw that accident screamed so the robbers shot the door. Then, So Wol managed to get out, and he immediately attacked them and saved Jung Ah. Although So Wol managed to kill them, unfortunately, Jung Ah received gunshot wounds that killed her instantly. Not long after that, someone suddenly points a gun and instantly kills So Wol. Knight 58 heard the gunshots and immediately went back inside to check on the situation. He was surprised after seeing several murder victims. At that time, he also found out that this house belonged to Major Jung. Her sister, Jung Ah, had become a victim in this murder. While checking the corpses, Knight 58 found tattoos in the killer's body. However, he still doesn't know what was their motive for committing the murder. Knight 58 then remembered So Wol, who had ever challenged him to a fight. Then, when Knight 58 was about to leave, he notices So Wol's hand moving, indicating that he is still alive. So, Knight 58 immediately took him. That afternoon, Major Jung just knew that there had been a murder in her house so she immediately went there. Major Jung immediately cried seeing her younger sister lying lifeless. Then Major Jung ordered Sergeant Lee to investigate this case and find out who's the culprit. Meanwhile, So Wol, who had been shot in the head, was conscious as if nothing had happened. Knight 41, who has expertise in the medical field, then explained that So Wol is insensitive to bullets. Knight 58 who heard that was clearly shocked. Moreover, he saw a wound on So Wol's leg, which had bones like titanium. And maybe that's what made So Wol immune to bullets. One day, Major Jung goes to Grandpa's place, where So Wol usually visits. Major Jung asks about So Wol who disappeared after yesterday's incident. The next day, Knight 58 went to the special district to meet with Major Jung. He will be interrogated for investigation because he made the emergency call at the time of the murder. Knight 58 then explained the chronology, and he linked this case to the kidnapping case that is currently happening in the general district. That night, when she returned home, Major Jug was shocked by someone's voice, who turned out to be So Wol. Crying, So Wol apologized and said that he did not remember the incident at all. In the end, Major Jung allowed So Wol to live with his friends and grandpa. Then the scene showing nine years ago. At that time, Major Jung and the other military were killing refugees. This was done because they did not have a QR code, and they were considered illegal citizens. Major Jung, who still had a kind heart, secretly saved So Wol. However, So Wol instead went to meet the refugees. He was starting to get frustrated with his life, so he asked them to just finish him off. His three friends who saw that then tried to help, and they succeeded to save So Wol. Because of that incident, So Wol had to fall into a coma, and his three friends always accompanied him until he woke up. Meanwhile, Knight 58 and another knight finally starts investigating people who had the same tattoos as the group that committed the murder. He then followed them who turned out to have kidnapped several teenagers who were suspected as the experimental subjects. In another place, So Wol, whose condition has now improved, still feels guilty because he could not save Jung Ah. On the other hand, Knight 57 who was helped by Knight 58 from yesterday's robbery, was seen visiting Ri Siuk and said that he wanted to stop being a knight because it really tortured him. It turns out that Knight 57 is the perpetrator of human kidnapping masterminded by Ri Siuk. He did this because he was promised to live in a special district by Ri Siuk. Knight 57 can never betray Ri Siuk because a device was installed in his head and it could kill him whenever Ri Siuk wanted. After that, Ri Siuk met his father to talk about recent incidents. His father did not trust Ri Siuk to lead the company because their vision was different. The father wanted to improve lowly people's lives, while Ri Siak wanted to kill refugees without identity because he thinks they are the cause of all this trouble. Elsewhere, Knight 58 meets Grandpa who used to take care of So Wol. 58 then tells him that So Wol is immune to bullets. Hearing that, Grandpa then tells So Wol's family origins. One time, So Wol's father was a miner and lived in a place filled with radioactivity. Probably, that's why So Wol was born as a mutant. The next day at a goods delivery station, Knight 58 saw 57 who was about to commit suicide. Quickly, Knight 58 stopped 57 from doing something stupid. Apparently, 58 already knew that the kidnapping had recently been carried out by 57, so he immediately interrogated him. 57 said that the kidnapped people would be used as experimental subjects. 
but when he was about to tell the mastermind behind all this, suddenly an implant in his head destroyed his nervous system and killed him instantly. This was of course done by Ree Siuk, who did not want his crime to be exposed. Because of the disappearance of Knight 57, he also announced that he would open the recruitment of a new delivery man to everyone. The news finally reached Sowol, who really wanted to be a delivery man. Then, the scene turns to the past by showing Knight 58, who managed to kill several soldiers. Even so, he was shot down by two soldiers. All the refugees who died were sent somewhere to be burned, but somehow Knight 58 managed to survive and kill the remaining soldiers. Back to the present, Sowol blocked Knight 58's car, and immediately showed the recruitment letter to become a delivery man. Sawol admitted Knight 58 greatness, and then he begged Knight 58 to train him. Even though at first he refused, 58 finally agreed to train Sawol. 58 then asked Sawol to meet him somewhere. Before leaving, he also asked Sawol to be strong with his own self. After that, 58 secretly had a meeting with 10 people in the old training center. On the other hand, Major Joe received a report that Knight 58's movements looked suspicious. So, knowing that, the soldiers immediately moved. Meanwhile, 58 said that Chia Myung group tried to kidnap children, but when they were in the middle of a discussion, Major Jung tried to ambush them. Strangely, when they were going in, he only saw them who were in the middle of training. That moment was finally used by 58 to talk to Major Jung in person. Then, Knight 58 said that Knight 57 was killed by an implant device that exploded in the back head. Knight 58 then gave a symbol and explained that the symbol was a tattoo of the group that carried out the murder at Major Jung's house. He also said that their motive was to kidnap children. Hearing all that, Major Jung ordered his team to find people with the symbol. One day, Major Jung met Ri Siuk, who was planning to relocate in District A. To do that, Ri Siuk wanted to see the database in all zones. Of course, the data is confidential so Major Jung immediately refuses Ri Siuk's request. Ryu Siak wants the relocation program to be carried out by his father's company, so he can commit his crimes under the pretext of planning a relocation. Meanwhile, So Wool finally arrived at the training center for the Knights. There it was seen that Knight 58 was already waiting for him. Then So Wool was taught to fight and see the enemy movements quickly. Shortly after the training was over, So Wool then immediately registered his name. Finally, he managed to get an identity card with the name of a refugee 3 to 4. After that, he trains really hard. In short, Sowol ran the first selection to become a knight. He was asked to fight with low oxygen levels. In the end, Sowol managed to win the first round. And after that, he also practiced driving a car. In this round, Sowol and other participants were asked to send packages. Later, on their way, they have to fight the hunters who will not hesitate to kill them. Ryu Siak and Knight 58 were also present to see the selection. In the countdown, the participants begin to move. Here it is seen that So Wool fights fearlessly. He also helps his rival against the hunters. As best as he can, So Wool fights to the end and makes it to the finish line with one of the contestants he helped. Strangely, even though he reached the finish line, So Wool was disqualified. And the one entitled to go to the next round was the rival he helped earlier. Not long after, there was news that the participant who had passed had a broken hand, so the person withdrew. Knowing that the knights worked together so that So Wool would not be disqualified. After it was decided, So Wool finally made it through to the next round. Meanwhile, Ryu Siak again asked Major Jung to provide the citizens' data in all zones, but Major Jung refused because it's privacy. After the meeting, Major Jung got information about someone who had a tattoo symbol on his neck, so they immediately stalked the man. Unfortunately, when he was about to be arrested, the man accidentally blew up the device implanted in his head. The next day, So Wool went to a special district to do his last battle. When he finally got there, he met Major Jung who was amazed at So Wool's determination. In this selection, So Wool will be mentored by Knight 41 who was treating his wound days ago. As it turns out, Ryu Siak deliberately promoted a boy without identity. The plan is clearly a success as all the refugees cheer in support of So Wool. Before the fight started, Knight 41 taught a lesson so So Wool could find out the weaknesses of his opponent. Shortly, the day of the final match came. The refugees then gathered in various places where the screening of the match would be held by the Chia Myung group. So Wool is then brought to the main district, where the gas mask is no longer needed. There, So Wool also looks happy because the place is filled with green plants and trees. Elsewhere, 58 gets information from his colleagues about the whereabouts of the tattooed group. 
Then he goes to them and kills all of them. However, Night 58 leaves one person alive to be interrogated about the mastermind behind this kidnapping case. After that, 58 immediately removed the implant that was on the tattooed man's head. Meanwhile, in the main district, the final match finally started. All eyes were on this fight, hoping that So Wool would be the winner. In the first round, So Wool continued to be beaten by his opponent until he was black and blue. When the first round was over, So Wool explained that he deliberately did not fight back so that he could find out the weaknesses of his opponent. At the same time, 58 took the tattooed man hostage and he took the man's cell phone. Night 58 saw Reesuk's evil plan which will be carried out. Reesuk's sinister plan is to lure the refugees together and he will blow them up. Knowing this, 58 immediately sent an emergency message to his other colleagues. Returning to the main district, the second round finally started. Here, So Wool did the same thing, that is letting his opponent continue to beat him. In that fight, So Wool gets a head wound, and it is clear that his skull is titanium. Seeing that, 41 closes So Wool's wound immediately. In the third round, So Wool finally can read the movements of his opponent, so he managed to land a punch that made his opponent fall down. The refugees who saw it cheered for So Wool's victory. But not long after that, suddenly a bomb exploded in the refugee area. This was clearly part of an evil plan that was done by Ryu Siuk. 58 who arrived late, felt very guilty for not being able to save them. Meanwhile, So Wool won the tournament, and he immediately remembered the incident that had taken Jung Ah's life. Seeing the wound on his forehead, So Wool finally realizes that he is a mutant. Then, before officially becoming a knight, So Wool had to do a medical test. After a series of procedures he passed, he finally officially became a knight. Now, So Wool has a QR code on his arm, and he officially became a Knight 57. His status as a mutant has been known by many people, including Ryu Siuk. As it turns out, Ryu Siuk suffers from a rare deadly disease. Therefore, he continued to kidnap many teenagers and conduct experiments to find a cure for himself. After seeing So Wool's blood results, Ryu Siuk also orders the doctors to conduct an experiment by mixing So Wool's blood with someone who has the same disease with him. After the experiment is finished, the man immediately recovers after So Wool's blood is mixed with his blood. Meanwhile, the knights start to devise a plan to kill Ri Siuk and stop the relocation plan in District A. Knight 58 plans to take down Ri Siuk and destroy Chien Miang Group. In that plan, Major Jung cooperates with them and starts sharing information. It was discovered that the tattoo men have had brain surgery, where they are deliberately made to be someone who has no emotions. It aims if one day they make a mistake, then they will not hesitate to commit suicide. Even though they are sure that all these crimes were committed by Ri Siuk, they still have no strong evidence. One time, they planned something involving a hostage. When the hostage was sleeping, suddenly heard gunshots from outside. Not long after that, several people came and immediately rescued him. But at that moment, there was a shootout so the hostage managed to escape. He then went by car to a place. In that place, he contacted his boss and asked for help. Shortly thereafter, his boss, Chairman Ryu finally came. He is Ri Suk's right-hand man. Later, the hostage explained that he had been held captive by 58 for several days. Luckily, the rescue team came so he could escape. Hearing that, Chairman Ryu realized that they had been framed, considering he never sent a rescue team. Right at that time, 58 and Major Jung finally appeared. Now their suspicions were proven correct that Ri Siuk was the culprit. They then forced Chairman Ryu to divulge Ri Siuk's next plan so that they could catch him. The next day, Major Jung came to meet Ri Siuk's father. There, the Major told him that the bomb explosion was carried out by his son. Major Jung also said that Ri Siuk had kidnapped teenagers and polluted the air in the district. Knowing his son's crimes, he finally took a stand and handed over the relocation plan to the government. Knowing that Ri Siuk didn't accept it. The worst thing is that Ri Siuk has the heart to kill his own father accompanied by the Minister of Defense. In short, the district relocation program apparently was in its final stages. Refugees are asked to follow procedures, in which they must register to undergo a physical examination and be vaccinated before entering public areas. However, what was injected was not a vaccine, but a poison that could kill them. On the other hand, Knight 58 meets the grandpa who turned out to be Ri Suk's father's best friend. Then, the grandpa handed over a map of the location of the main district. The map will be very useful to find Ri Suk's hiding location. 
Then Knight 58 and the other knights finally found out about the vaccination which contained poison. Then they immediately acted to stop it. At that time, So Wol saw one of his friends who was about to be shot by the soldiers. Quickly, he immediately helped him. Unfortunately, So Wol was too late because his friend had been shot. During the commotion, So Wol apparently was caught by the soldiers. After that incident, the delivery men and Major Jung finally prepared to attack the main district. A smoke bomb was thrown into the courtyard of Qian Miang's office. Then 58 and his team came down from the helicopter and immediately attacked the guards. At the same time, Ri Siuk was carrying out the blood transfusion process from Seo Wol. After that, he was told that his office was being raided. In the end, Ri Siuk goes to the control room with Seo Wol as hostage. Meanwhile, Major Jung was struggling to find the location where the president was being held hostage by government ministers. After successfully breaking in and arresting the minister, Major Jung asked Ri Siak to immediately surrender, knowing that he also seemed to not believe in his defeat. Unexpectedly, he apparently will activate the explosive button that can destroy the entire city so that the refugees die with him. Once the button was activated, alarms then went off in every corner of the city. All the residents of the district then left the place, as well as Knights 58. He takes So Wol away from there. Three months later, the president finally announced that the construction of District A had been completed. And now, all the refugees were free to get in without discrimination. Then the movie ends.